what I did is I explored um, a phenomenon that's, uh, I suppose, worldwide in, in youth sport uh, known as the relative age effect. Okay, and the relative age effect basically um, is looking at the um, distribution of dates of birth over the course of a, a chronological year. So for argument's sake, an under 14, um, and if you're looking at it in a quarter perspective, we have the first quarter, January to, to March, versus the person born in the, the final quarter, which would be October to December. Um, I did a, a, a research study looking at um, the, the dates of birth or distribution over the course of the year. And we found that after over 2000, with 2,000 dates of birth, that 30% of um, inter-county or development squad players between the ages of 14 and 16 um, are born in the first quarter of the year, um, as opposed to 17% born in the, the last quarter of the year. So essentially what we're saying is um, you're twice more likely statistically speaking, to make a development squad or an elite team um, if you're born in the first quarter of the year than the final quarter of the year. Um, the second uh, element of that would have been we looked and we st uh, did a st study on uh, a small cohort of players, so 50 inter-county um, or development squad players um, and 50 club players. And we profiled them anthropometrically, physiologically and um, psychologically. And essentially, what we found was that um, the most significant, um, statistically speaking, the significant determinants were physiological, so the likes of speed, power, um, strength, endurance, and so on. Um, so from a coaching perspective, what that tells us is that we're essentially biasing those who are older player, are older um, in an annual year, um, and those who are maybe fitter, stronger, faster, etc. Okay. So there is a number of different possible solutions um, or, I suppose, implications from this. Um, and I, ne I don't necessarily have the answer to all of these, but the big message for me today is in relation to awareness of this phenomenon, okay? And awareness of, I suppose, in particular, the younger, the less developed um, players who maybe haven't fully matured. We're looking to, as, as the title suggests, create a level playing field for everybody. So we want to give everyone um, the best chance possible. The first point, as you said, obviously is the awareness, but um, and in a practical setting, as you said, on the field or, or dealing day to day or week to week with the players, you're first of all establishing who maybe the younger, less developed players are and giving them the opportunities. So um, I suppose a, a perfect example would be the, the older, more developed player who plays in central positions, who is given central roles um, and possibly maybe isn't focusing as much on the skills, maybe the physical attributes are a little bit more important to him or that they backbone or carry his game forward. Um, whereas from a, a, the younger, less developed player, you encourage them to continuously work with their skills, their movements and so on, um, so that as, as their body matures, um, as they grow older themselves, that naturally they'll have built up or they'll have the technical skills um, in the locker, as you'd say, and um, that when they physically develop, they have the opportunity to fulfill their potential.